And by the way, before the debate, we held a coin toss to determine who would go first in the first half hour of this debate. We'll switch the order in the second half hour. Joe McComb won the uh, toss. So, Mr. McComb, you'll begin with the debate with your opening remarks. Well, first, thank you very much for inviting us to be here. I think it's a wonderful service to the community. And uh, I would just like to say thank you to the community for allowing me to be your mayor for the last two terms. And obviously, I'd like to be your mayor for another term. We've accomplished a great deal as a council, and uh, we have brought in a new city manager that is uh, wonderful as far as getting projects going and getting up and running that the council is in, involved in and our priorities. We've been able to bring the bonded indebtedness down over $200 million. And so we're just a lot going on in our city, and I'd like to do that. But for those of you that may not know that much of my background, I'm an owner and operator of a family small business. Uh, we celebrated being in business 80 years on November the 1st. And so uh, I've lived here all of my life. My family is here. Uh, most of my grandchildren are here. And my service through the city council, through the commissioner's court and civic organizations and others is based on my commitment to making the city a better place to live and leaving it better for my children and my grandchildren and your children and your grandchildren. So that's my commitment to you. I don't have any hidden agendas. I don't have any uh, uh, axes to grind. I'm, I'm simply here because I love to serve. That's what I was taught to do uh, from my mother and, and family teaching. And I just appreciate the opportunity that you've given me over these years to serve both on the city council and on the commissioner's court for New Aces County. So I'm looking forward to us discussing some of the issues tonight and uh, getting some facts out on the table because that's really what you need to know are the facts. And uh, we're looking forward to that. And thank you for being with us, and I hope you enjoy it. Protect yourself uh, during this continued COVID uh, pandemic, and I wish, want to wish you a very Merry Christmas in case you've fallen asleep by the end of this debate. <laughs> hopefully not, Mayor McComb, hopefully <laughs> not. Hopefully we can keep everybody awake for the next hour. Thank you for those remarks. Councilwoman Paulette Guajardo, your opening remarks, please. Good evening, thank you very much. And thank you all for hosting this. Uh, we're very appreciative of this opportunity. I was born and raised here in Corpus Christi. I'm a proud graduate of Flower Bluff High School and I have a business degree from Texas A&M Corpus Christi University. I'm running to be your full-time mayor because with a billion dollar budget, it is time that Corpus Christi has a mayor who works full-time to provide the oversight, the vision and the leadership our city deserves. Every city around us that has passed us by has city manager form of governments and are all full-time mayors. It is time Corpus Christi has their full-time mayor. I'm running for mayor to build and recover our economy, to fix our streets, to strengthen public safety, and to redefine our city's role in public health. I am not a career politician. I am a fiscal conservative who believes in keeping taxes low. I support open beaches, and as mayor, I will fight to keep our beaches open and preserve our constitutional right as Texans to have open beaches. I believe that public service is a sacred pact between me and you, the citizen. We need a full-time mayor that will be a guardian for the taxpayer. The city charter is specific in section six. Every single ordinance, resolution, or motion passed by the council must be presented to the mayor. The mayor approves the entire city council agenda, and this is an enormous responsibility. We need a mayor who backs the blue. I am proud to be the only candidate who has always voted to support our police and to be endorsed by both police and fire associations. At this critical juncture in our city's future, we must have a mayor who has high ethical standards. We need a mayor who we can trust, and I kindly and humbly ask you for your vote. Well, for more information on uh, Councilwoman Guajardo and Mayor Macomb, log on to our website at christv.com. You'll see our web extras there. You can also find all kinds of information on our website and social media pages, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. You'll also find information on when and where to vote.